Hello Samuel, so I'm Michel Hello. Uh, I'm 33, I just turned 33 years old uh, a couple of days ago. I am a member of the executive committee at uh, the National Bloc, which is a uh, secular uh, modern party in Lebanon. Uh, I was formerly a candidate in the parliamentary elections um, in 2022 uh, in my constituency in Babda, next to Beirut. And before that, I used to be uh, the general manager of Lorient Le Jour, which is the main uh, French-speaking and now English-speaking also newspaper in Lebanon. So Lorient Le Jour is currently the oldest uh, published daily newspaper in Lebanon. It was founded in 1924. Uh, it's a generalist newspaper um, that talks basically about everything with a very strong access on accountability today. What matters is also that Lorient is an independent uh, publication, so we don't take any funding nor any orders nor any interference, neither from political parties nor from uh, advertisers nor even from the board. So it, the, new, the newsroom really is completely independent and that is something quite unique in Lebanon and in the region. So we defend freedoms, we defend democracy and we uh, want to hold power to account. So there's many challenges that we faced at Laurent Le Jour and me as, you know, at the helm of the company. Um, the first one was uh, transforming Lorient completely from a traditional institution to a modern digital um, publication. The second one was also preserving always its independence and its quality. Despite all the pressures that we had, uh, and we had a lot of pressures, be it from politicians, be it from uh, potential advertisers, also sometimes from even shareholders who were asking uh, you know, specific requests. And we had always to say, no, this publication is completely independent. Uh, we're going to keep it free and we're going to keep this uh, kind of Chinese wall between the newsroom and the board and the shareholders and the politicians. So the National Bloc is uh, one of the oldest parties in Lebanon. It was founded in the 1940s, uh, but then it was forced to stop its activity because of the civil war in 1976, because the National Bloc refused to become a militia, like most of the parties did uh, at that period of time. So hence, we were kind of away from the political scene uh, until uh, basically uh, the early thousands, and then again we disappeared until 2018, when we decided to relaunch this party. Today, the National Bloc is, uh, to me, the most serious, structured platform that has a secular and modern message to all Lebanese across all regions and all communities and also across the world because we are in permanent touch with the Lebanese diaspora. Journalism is a very good way to defend some values, but it's not enough. Uh, you know, the fourth estate is critical, but you also have to reclaim the first, the second and the third uh, powers. So basically, uh, we need to get into parliament and then to be able to form a government to change our country. If we don't reclaim uh, the political space, we're never going to change Lebanon. So the next steps for the party are to um, build a structured uh, organization with a strong and large popular base across the country and in the diaspora. Then it's to fight all the election battles that we're going to have. So basically in universities and syndicates and unions or local elections and then aiming at a 2026 uh, parliamentary elections. And personally, my plan is to one, take part in building and developing this party and two, uh, run again in 2026 and hopefully win. So HEC brought me a lot, uh, a lot of rattrapage first because uh, I was not the best in class but still I was uh, uh, you know really interested in what we were having as classes but most importantly um, HEC brought me uh, an openness to um, I think various fields of business uh, and of um, activities in general but it also brought me a huge uh, openness to the world 
uh, through HSC I was able to uh, live in Germany, uh, then exchange there, I was able to work in London, to work in Africa and to do my exchange in Milan also. So I met an incredible number of people from across the world and it really opened my eyes uh, on you know, so many things and so many cultures. I think that what's really interesting is um, when you look at the, um, the role that the HSA community is playing in Lebanon, it's that even though HSA is a private sector oriented university, it's a business school, well despite that, um, the HSA community in Lebanon is playing a key role uh, in its uh, way of working with the public sector and for the public good. I think a lot of us are involved in really trying to change the country for the better. And I think that also comes from you know, a general culture that we had at HSC and in France in general, which is caring about the public good. So I've got two, piece, uh, two pieces of advice for HSC students. One is uh, really take this opportunity to go travel the world. That's what I did at HSC and it was uh, incredibly uh, beneficial to me. And the second is uh, go chart your own course, your own path. Uh, don't try to copy anyone else because what you learned at HSC is to be, uh, you know, top of your class, to be uh, the best in what you're doing. So you don't need to copy anyone else, just chart your own course and you'll be uh, the best at what you're doing.